Welcome again. Calculate the pKa of a 0 0.15 molar solution of a weak acid with a pH of 4.70. Let's go in and take a look at the steps to solve this problem. Let's begin by looking at the data given. pH 4.70. Using this value, we can determine the concentration of hydrogen ions in the equilibrium mixture of the acid. And to do this, we set up this relationship, which is the anti-log of the given value, 10 to the power of negative pH or negative 4.70. This value comes to 1.995 by 10 to the power of negative 5. And this is the concentration of hydrogen ions in moles per cubic decimeter or moles per liter. Since the acid in question is a weak acid, it means that there is an equilibrium between the acid and its hydrogen ions and its conjugate base. At equilibrium, concentration of H plus ions for this particular acid would be equal to the concentration of A negative ions. And because we have a weak acid, which has an equilibrium relationship with hydrogen ions and its conjugate base, then, once we determine the concentration of H+, then we would also be able to determine the equilibrium concentration of A negative. And if it is that a certain amount of this appears from the original concentration, then we would also be able to determine the equilibrium concentration of HA. Using the information for the concentration of hydrogen ions, we then determine the concentration of the conjugate base, A negative. The initial concentration of the solution was 0 0.015. And at equilibrium, because we know the pH value, then we can say that this initial concentration has changed by this amount. And the original acid would be left with this concentration. Its initial minus the value of the H plus at equilibrium which is really a negligible value, something that we would make use of in the calculations to follow. And we can lay out the information that we have here, given this as the initial concentration, the change which we acquire from the given pH value, and then the value of the concentration of the acid at equilibrium, which is 0 0.015 minus 1.995 by 10 to the power of negative 5, which actually comes up to a negligible value. And this is something that we would make reference to later on in the calculation. So then we say that the equilibrium constant for the dissociation of this weak acid, also known as the Ka or the acid dissociation constant, is given by this relationship. The concentration of H plus by the concentration of A negative divided by the equilibrium concentration of the original acid. And to solve for Ka, the acid dissociation constant, we plug in the values for H plus, A negative, which would be the same as H plus, because for every H plus, there is an A negative. And then this value at equilibrium comes from the initial concentration minus the change. But remember that we noted that this change is quite negligible when compared to this value and when compared to the uncertainty associated with Ka, it is acceptable to exclude this from the calculation. And if we decide to make an approximation and to eliminate this from the calculation, because of its negligible value, then the value for Ka comes to 2.653 by 10 to the negative 8. We should note that this is based on an approximation and that Ka has no units. But we must recall that the question requires us to find the pKa of this weak acid. And to do that, we need to plug in the value that we got for Ka into this relationship. pKa is equal to the negative log to the base 10 of Ka. And the answer, rounded to two significant figures, 
in keeping with the original data provided is 